So, good afternoon students. So, this will be my uh, part of the series of um, videos that I will be giving you since we are on lockdown already. So, we will be working with OSPF, the open shortest spot first. So, basically, I gave you uh, an introduction already of OSPF, but um, I guess I did not uh, completed it because of the uh, recent um, quant events. So we will be working first with OSPF. So firstly, we are going to identify first or we are going to uh, define first what's an o OSPF. So it is a, an open shortest path first. Uh, basically, it's an open standard. Therefore, it's widely supported by any other routers around the world. So it's a widely supported protocol. Since it's the standard, so you can see this one in any other routers except Cis uh, not except but uh, basically Cisco, Juniper routers, Microtik routers, they have this type of protocol. So an OSPF is an interior gateway protocol. So Sabotana, if it's an interior gateway, you can you can use that uh, inside your organization. So there is a difference between the uh, IGP and the exterior your gateway protocol in which you are putting it outside. Um, your organization so that would be a, the BGP already or the border gateway protocols then connected to the ISP so an OSPF is a linked state type of protocol so when you link state type of protocol so basically uh, the, um, the exchange what we call link state advertisements so kung link state siya, automatic connection siya aside from the, uh, it, it well, it is much better than, than this distance vector actually. So, sa distance vector, you, you cannot even see if your routers are already connected. But in the link state, na ay kwan ano, na siya may suggest to pop up whether you are connected already to one router to another. So, EIGRP has this and OSPF has this also. Okay? So, for the. So I don't know if my. Okay there so what is the goal of the OSPF so basically same as the other protocol um, this is to link other routers so without the aid of a protocol routers to routers cannot communicate so therefore um, when you are when you will be working with your routers you have the same protocol for each router so later na lang tamo his got anang what sir what if uh, I have another protocol here in one router and another protocol in one router they are not the same so can they be connected yes of course we have we have that one already so later after we complete the the series of protocols like uh, from RIP to EIGRP down to OSPF once we completed that one already then that's the time that we are going to connect them um, if one router has a different protocol to another <clears throat> so how OSPF work how does OSPF work basically each router sends an LSA or the link state advertisement so if you have one router, akong i kwan sa ipop up sa ang different types of router ha para makita ninyo. Okay, let's say for example, this is a router here. So if this router has um, is in LS uh, is in OSPF mode, so this router sends LSA to all of the routers basically connected into it. So imagine na, na lang ninyo that all router sends LSA or um, from the moment they are connected via OSPF so that means that this router here sends LSA to this router and, and this router sends LSA to that router that basically you know, na ay sulod ang LSA so ang sulod sa LSA is very very important in which in that LSA na iyang advertisement na iyang ipadalangad to is in a form of database so we call it an LS uh, uh, link state database okay so once all routers once all routers LSA it will save it on its uh, LSDB or the uh, link state database so the goal is to let all the other routers have the same information in the network so basically if you are going to to determine oh, syempre, this one this router should have the same information and get that information from the other router also so pareho na silang information pareho silang information and all of these routers have the same information that means that if this router would like to communicate with this router this router knows already that the information coming from this router is already in this one in this router because they have exchanged information already okay 
So what the further? Okay. So uh, the LSDB contains the following information that we have. Number one, your LSDB contains a neighbor table. So this neighbor table agrees to form a neighbor relationship between router to router. That's why now all of the routers with an OSPF is connected to one another and it sees beyond what would be the other router beyond that router. Can you spot the difference there? Can you see the difference between the other protocol? Okay, in a distance vector, <coughs> this router can only see its neighbor router, so which is directly connected to it. But this router no, cannot see beyond its neighbor because it's not directly connected to it. That's distance vector. But in a link state type of protocol, even if that is not your neighbor, you can still see beyond it. That's the power of the link state uh, advertisement. So we have, because there is a, uh, there is a neighbor table that forms a relationship between OSPF router. The next table that you can see inside your LSDB is the topology table. There, in the topology table, you are exchanging now your database information. Hey, my first router, uh, this is my database, no? And my database consists of uh, the topology that I have in my own network. So, iyan ang i-transfer nga to or i-exchange nga to sa other router. So, meaning, that router now knows, no? uh, this router now knows that this router has a different network here. So, that's the idea of exchanging the topology so that these different routers here may now identify that there are networks beyond it. That's the idea of the link state uh, type or protocol. Okay, nag-exchange sila og topology table. Then, and lastly, 